New Jersey is known for its unique dialect, being the only U.S. state where customers can't pump their own gas and the infamous Jersey Shore. And what is your name, sir? Situation. Huh? Situation. Which is the coastal region of the state of New Jersey, not just some canceled reality series on MTV. But did you know that New Jersey has the highest population density of any U.S. state? Well, it does. In fact, about 95% of New Jersey's population is considered urban, as the urban cores of major cities inside of and bordering New Jersey are only matched by the state's significant suburban population that stretches out of those urban areas. See, New Jersey is located on the northeastern portion of the United States, so the entire state of New Jersey has real proximity to major American cities like New York, Philadelphia, Baltimore, Boston, and even the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. Just look at Jersey City, New Jersey's second largest city, only two miles from the nation's most populated city of New York, something that I think emphasizes the economic power afforded to New Jersey based only on its geographic location. Of course, New Jersey cities tend to have smaller populations than their out-of-state neighbors, though. Newark has 318,000 residents, Jersey City has 301,000 residents, Patterson has 162,000 residents, and Elizabeth has 139,000. But keep in mind that while New Jersey lacks the kind of big cities that anchor states like New York, it's still a powerful state nonetheless, as New Jersey has the 11th largest population of any U.S. state with an estimated 9.22 million residents as of this year, though it's quite small in size when compared to its peers. That's to say, the state of New Jersey is smaller than tiny little Vermont, with only 8,723 square miles of area, despite it having about 42% more residents than the increasingly popular state of Arizona. I would also argue that New Jersey's colorful history as one of the first parts of America to be established by early European settlers is a major factor in it being a uniquely significant state. Now, with New Jersey's colonial history stretching all the way back to 1609 when Henry Hudson first sailed through the Newark Bay, I certainly wouldn't have the time to break down the state's storied history today. However, I think it's worth pointing out that the state of New Jersey not only enjoys close proximity to some of the most powerful cities in the United States, it also has the advantage of a lengthy head start being just the third ever U.S. state when joining the Union 235 years ago in 1787. Today, though, New Jersey is an important part of the Mid-Atlantic region, known for its role in shaping everything from American culture to modern commerce. And while the Garden State and its more modest cities have sort of become typical and very residential, shoot, you may even say boring, especially when compared to the powerhouse cities like New York, D.C., and Boston that tower over New Jersey's urban and suburban districts. The state of New Jersey still has a lot to offer its residents and visitors, though, and sometimes being close to megacities is more than enough. As New Jerseyans often have the option of commuting to big city amenities and opportunities while also enjoying less overcrowding and a more affordable cost of living. See, while the median home price of $472,000 in the state of New Jersey is slightly higher than the national average, it's much lower than nearby cities like New York, Boston, and D.C. Better yet, New Jersey has a median household income of $85,000, thanks to that big city proximity and the 15 Fortune 500 companies like Johnson & Johnson, ADP, and Prudent Financial that are all currently located in the state of New Jersey. Don't get me wrong though, New Jersey is only affordable when looking at a handful of the nation's most expensive cities. And taxes in New Jersey are outright awful, with a personal state income tax of 10.75%, along with high taxes on pretty much everything, and an average childcare cost in excess of $1,000 per child per month. But the state is still consistently ranked as one of the best places to live in the U.S., and there's plenty to love about New Jersey regardless. That's because Jersey has an excellent healthcare system, relatively low poverty, and excellent universities like Princeton, Rutgers, and the Stevens Institute of Technology. Jersey also has one of the best school systems in the U.S. with a per-student spend of about $20,000 and more school districts than towns and cities across the state. Not to mention safety, as New Jersey has a rate of crime well below the national average, and violent crime there is much lower than the national average, despite the popularity of Netflix's new hit series, The Watcher. Though I should mention that property crime can be problematic there, especially in places like Newark, the worst place in America for automobile theft. 
New Jersey has popular beaches with famous boardwalks, seemingly endless amenities from opulent casinos to top-rated museums and amusement parks, world-class entertainment venues, well-known festivals, and the ability to attract major artists like Taylor Swift, Beyonce, Bon Jovi, and Bruce Springsteen as well as real historical significance. I mean, New Jersey was the home of Thomas Edison, right? Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Here's another video of mine that YouTube thinks you will enjoy next.